Hey class, in this video, we're finally gonna get into some JavaScript. So in the first video, we showed you how to set up uh, CodePen and how to open up the console and output stuff to the console. Okay, so originally we used a method called console.log and we printed out hello world. To the console and eventually it will print. Let's get into our settings. So I created a brand new code pen uh, for this video and I'm going to turn off auto updating preview again which will enable our run button. So now I have our console.log and hello world and when I run it it just prints hello world to the to the console down here. So that's the basics is how do I how do I output stuff in my programming language? Um, and we can do more than that. Obviously, JavaScript's meant to change our web page. But right now, I have a code pen that doesn't have any HTML. Um, and so there really isn't anything here to change. I just want to focus on the, the language JavaScript for a little bit before we move on to um, making something fun. Because programming languages are pretty tricky. There's a ton to learn. And with JavaScript, I mean, you can have a whole career writing JavaScript. So it's a, it, um, you can spend years mastering this language. So as beginners, let's start off with some basics. So we've learned how to print things out to the console, just save that. And the next thing that we typically learn in a programming language is how do you create variables? So whenever you create any, you know, any program, um, you often, well, you always need to save information. So you're gonna have data in your program and you've gotta be able to manipulate that data. And the first step is just saving it, like storing it in your in, in memory in your program. So in JavaScript, there's, there's three different ways to create variables. Um, one of them is old, that's, that's with a keyword var. Uh, we're not gonna use that but I just want to math mention it because you'll sometimes see it. So in, uh, in math class, that's where we're first exposed to variables. And we'll often see like X. So we'll see X equals five. And then you might have a, a math problem like X plus two equals, and then you'll have like a line. And you know, this is your standard math worksheet. So it's like, okay, now I've got to go look up what the value of X is. I see it's five. And so my answer would be seven. Now that's in math class. In math class, they give you the math problem and like you're the computer. But in computer science, um, we are like the math teacher and the computer is the, well, the student. <laughs> so it's going to do the math for us. And um, remember if I, right in the console here, I can see that JavaScript can perform math operations pretty easily. Um, so how do we create X in JavaScript? So if I, were to, if I were to create a variable called X in JavaScript, I would use the keyword let or const. And these both do the same thing. They create a variable, um, but uh, const is a constant, it can't be changed once you've set its value. So if I say let x equal five, now I have a variable in my program called x and its value is five. In the console, if I run my program and I click in the console and I type x, it returns its value, which is five. If I create another line and I say x equals x plus two, um, what we're doing here is something a little strange because this, in math class, this doesn't work. In, um, in math class, you know, like in algebra, the equal symbol, it refers to equality on both sides of the symbol. So usually in math class, you're trying to balance um, both sides of your equation. This is not an equation. This is, um, this is something different here. So on the right side of our uh, statement, we have the variable x plus two, and this is a math operation. So the operator here, the symbol, um, it performs addition and it returns a sum. So it, this would resolve to 
7. And then the equal symbol in this context, in, a, in the language JavaScript and in most programming languages, it, it actually has its own operation. It's, it's a setter argument, so, uh, or not argument, it's a, it's a setter operator. So it sets the value for a, um, a variable. So up here, that makes sense. We have x equals 5. In here, we're saying x uh, gets uh, a new value of 7. So um, if I run this, I can check. Because when we run our program, JavaScript's going to run line 1 and print hello world. It's going to run line 3 and create this variable. And then line 5, it's going to do this math and store the new value inside x. So if I click, if I type X and I press enter, I can see that its current value is seven. Now, because I can access it from the console, I can actually change this here. I can say X equals 25. And now I can keep using X and it's always 25. I can also do something weird. I can say X equals Jeff in quotes like that. And now um, it is not a number anymore. So the variable contains the word Jeff. And in, uh, in programming languages, we call this a string. It's a string of characters. So numbers are different than words. And you know we can do things to numbers that we can't do to words. Like we can, we can add, subtract, multiply, and divide with numbers. With words, we can join them. And we can sometimes, like, we can make duplicates of them. But we can't, we can't like, divide words and get, like, something new. You know, it's, it's a math operation. It doesn't make sense. OK, but in JavaScript, we can assign a variable a value, and then we can change the variable later on. And that's, that's the whole point. In um, variables, you know, their root is vary. They can change. Um, but we can also change the, like, the type of information that's stored inside this variable. And in some programming languages, you can't do that. Like if you create a um, a value that holds a, a variable that holds an integer, and then you try to put a word in there, it will it will cause an error. Um, in JavaScript, it's it's not statically typed. It's um, it allows you to change the um, the data types that are stored within variables uh, at runtime in your program, which means sometimes you have to be really careful about um, the code that you write. OK, so here we've changed the variable of, uh, we've changed the value of x. Now let's talk about that const. So I thought variables were um, supposed to be changeable. And sometimes they're not. So if I take y and I set it to hello, now I have that variable in memory. Uh, and oh, I've got to run my program. And if I press Y, uh, what's returned is hello, because that's what I stored in it. Okay. If I try and change it, Y equals two. Um, this is, should yell at me. Here we go. And we have an error. So uncaught type error assignment to a constant variable. So the idea with a constant variable is that it's um, the, the value is protected. It can't be changed um, on a different line in your program. Okay, So variables can hold all kinds of information. They can hold numbers. They can hold words. Um, and they can also hold other special things like um, objects or arrays or nodes, um, HTML nodes, and uh, all kinds of really useful stuff that we can use to make um, really elaborate um, programs that run in the web browser. So that's how you can save variables. Um, one more uh, data type that I haven't talked about here that's kind of important is um, it's called Boolean. And it's, a, it's an interesting one because it's something everybody learns about, but they don't, never know what it's called. Um, and Boolean uh, uh, data is just true or false. So I can create a variable. Let's create a variable called is jumping. So this might be a variable that would be very useful in a game. 
and I can set it to false. So now is jumping is false. And when I start jumping, I can change this to true. So here I don't have a function that, um, I don't have any elaborate code. I just created a variable called is jumping, set it to false. And then I said, okay, let's change is jumping to true. Ah, so I have an error here because of this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put two slashes in front of line eight and convert it to a comment. So um, what this does is it, it will allow the computer to ignore that line of the, this line of text here. Okay, let's run this. Okay, we've got hello world printed again. I'm just gonna clear the console and then I'm gonna type is jumping. Okay, it says that it's true. So we originally created it, set it to false, and then we switched it to true. Um, so those are just really important data types. There's some other um, uh, data types that we have in, uh, in JavaScript, but I just wanna keep it simple. Just a brief introduction. And this is how you create variables um, and then change variables. And in the case of const, not change variables. Uh, that's all I have for this video. I will see you in the next one.